Our guest today on Kando FM is Janet Garner from BA Systems, who is the principal of the Submarines Academy for Skills and Knowledge. Welcome back to Kando FM, Janet. Morning, Andrea. Now then, um, a social impact report has recently been published. Um, why have BAE Systems published this report uh, just recently? Yes, yeah, so the key reason that we've published it, Andrea, is that, you know, we are the main employer in the area. Um, and, and um, you know, we all know how close uh, the links are to Barrow and the shipyard. And we absolutely, you know, recognise our responsibility to support the local community that supports us. And over a number of years, we've been working with, uh, you know, a, a large range of external organisations um, that we partner with. Um, and, and make sure that we understand what's going on in the community. And, and therefore, we, we can make sure that our support is directed into the areas that is most needed. Um, and that's really what the, um, you know, the report summarises. Um, and, and, and the reason I say it summarises it, because there's an awful lot that we do. Um, and, you know, it, when you do pick up the report and read it, there's lots of great stories in there. Um, across a whole range of activities that we've been involved in with partners. Um, but we simply couldn't fit everything in, um, if I'm honest. Um, but, you know, they are, they are great stories. Um, mm. and, and it's not just a way of informing the local community about what we've done, but also our employees that get involved uh, in some of the social um, uh, impact activities. And it, it really does focus on the people, there's some really heartfelt stories in there. Um, the, the, the social impact report covers the last two years. So it covers what we did during the pandemic as well, when you know, the community was most um, in need. And it was really a way of bringing um, everything together in one document um, and, and to celebrate the, the partners that we work with as, as, as much as to uh, you know, um, communicate mm. what we've been involved in. It's nice, so it's, isn't it? It's, it's nice to see it actually in the report because it is, like you say, it's it's when you see it all together like that, you you look at it and think, wow, you know, there's some real hard work that's gone on here, but it must have been very rewarding as well for the people involved. Hugely rewarding, and you know, I, just one story that really stuck with me from the pandemic, and it was it was at the point of. Um, you know, COVID when, um, you know, there was an awful lot of media press around care homes and, yeah. um, you know, their particular situation. And we got a note back from, um, you know, some of the care homes in town that we'd supported. And we'd simply, and I say simply because it was a very simple gesture, uh, made sure that they had party packs to celebrate VE Day. Um, and it's the one thing that sticks with me because it was a real simple line back to us that said thank you for not forgetting us um, because that's how they were feeling at that time um, and you know it, it's littered with stories like that yeah. um, of the support that we've put into those most in, in need in the community yeah. Um, yeah. and we do we do want to make sure that you know we we celebrate that on an annual basis now so we will be doing this every year going forward. Right. Fantastic. Yes, I know I looked at, looked through it and the thing that struck me was the number of iPads that you'd provided schools with, which of course yeah. were vital, vital, um, you know, to, uh, pieces of technology to keep children engaged and, and connected with their schools when they were at home. Yeah, absolutely. And we had such a, you know, such a call from the local schools to, to help. Um, with that um, and it was a real challenge if I'm honest because mm. you know we all remember that everything was in in you know dire shortage so yeah. you know to make that happen um, you know was was quite a challenge at the time but we knew how important it was you know to keep children connected to uh, to their skills um, so yeah it, it, one we're very proud of. Is the document in the public domain? It, it is in the public domain, yes. It can be accessed um, electronically. Um, there's a link um, on the BA Systems website. Uh, there's also hard copies that, that, that we have, but yes, it's in the public domain. 
Well, that's great. Um, and I'm sure if you're interested in that, folks, you can have a look. Um, but as far as BAE is concerned, it's just onwards and upwards, and we expect to see lots more involvement in the future. Thank you, Andrea.